Baltimore Police Commissioner Frederick Bielfeld narrates a series of events captured on one of Baltimore's cameras. Due to gun violence, viewer discretion is advised. What we see first is Jared Johnson, who is exiting a car parked along the street, and he's hailing a young man about halfway down the block to elicit whether that person is selling drugs. Coming into view now is Aaron Maxwell. As they begin to move, the camera monitor pans back out to capture maybe a direction of travel and in case they cross the street. Now you can see they're under an awning here. Aaron Maxwell's back is turned to the camera. You can see his white t-shirt. And in a second, you will see something fly out of the area between the two men and it appears to be some money that they drop. Now coming into view is the man armed with the gun, Jared Kane. You can see the gun, the 38 caliber revolver in his left hand. He and Jared Johnson both confront Aaron Maxwell and start searching him. And now you see that Aaron Maxwell tries to flee. Jared Kane fires one shot and strikes Aaron Maxwell in the back. The camera monitor then flashes back to capture the escape of the two men. And this is an important piece of the film in as much as the camera monitor focuses in on the tag of the car. And now the camera monitor is calling out what occurred. What is very telling and, and enormously rewarding is that seconds later you will see a white Crown Victoria unmarked police car following their line of flight. Now, again, because this is captured in real time by a monitor and they're broadcasting this situation over the radio, this is dispatched to field units within seconds of occurring rather than several minutes that it could have ostensibly taken the victim to call 911 and then work through the emergency dispatch system. The car was pursued several blocks away and all uh, there were in total three men, a driver of the car, uh, Jared Johnson and Gerard Kane were all arrested. The 38 caliber revolver was recovered along with a 44 Magnum revolver uh, from the vehicle as well. All three men were taken into custody and Aaron Maxwell did survive his gunshot wound.